Welcome to KP's Kingdom, Cooking with KP, and today, a childhood favourite of mine, believe it or not, aniseed honey soy chicken wings. Oh, yum! Alright, let's get into it. We're going to add about two, maybe three tablespoons of honey, depending on how you like your honey. Don't forget, honey can be quite expensive, so uh, go easy on the honey. We want it there just for a little bit of flavour. We're going to add some sweetness into it. So what we're going to grab is some brown sugar and we're going to add in around about half to maybe three quarters of a cup. Again, depending on how sweet you want your wings. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in some star anise. And that's not enough for me. You get away with three or four, but look, just keep jamming them in. In all honesty, I used about 12, I think I counted. And just to get more aniseed flavor, tablespoon of aniseeds and a little bit more. We want to send this aniseed flavor through the roof. Okay, so what we're going to need to also do with this is we're going to need to uh, somehow get the brown sugar and the honey melted enough to work with our soy. So quite an easy tip for you here. All you do, turn your kettle on, don't let it boil, just make it hot and we want to just cover the base just like that, not a lot and that's going to give us enough liquid with that little bit of heat just to dissolve the sugar and the honey so we can make this nice beautiful syrup. The other thing too, the aniseed flavor is going to come out. So we want some soy, so we're going to put in some soy and uh, that's a really expensive way to do it, like that. Here's your tip. The way to do it, party bottle. All right, grab a big soy. I'm going to put in around about a cup, maybe a cup and a half. This is the way to buy it. It is very inexpensive buying it in bulk like this, and all you do is top up your little bottle when it's empty. And of course, I use Kickerman. It's all I use. Cleaver, my favorite toy. We buy the wings, I mean they're what they call a tri-joint wing, the least expensive cut you can get on the chicken. I think I pay Australian $3 a kilo. And all we need to do is find the joint and just press it gently and the cleaver will go straight through. And you can see that I'm putting the tips of the wing into a little bag at the back of the bench there. Come back tomorrow and you'll see what I do with those. So I'm just going to throw our wings in. Uh, for this uh, recipe I actually used two kilos or four pounds in the old scale. And uh, believe me these things are so moorish that two kilos is not a lot of wings. Right, those tips they're going into the freezer. We want to start mixing our marinade through put it in the fridge, bring it back out every say 30 minutes, give them a stir. Now this recipe I had as a child in the 80s and it was a little restaurant that uh, they called Den Pasar. But they did Burmese, they did Chinese, they did Indonesian and the first time I had these I fell in love with them. My, uh, my father tried to perfect the recipe and never got it. I have. Alright, my oven is on 170 degrees Celsius. That is all. That is all we want for these wings. We want to sort of braise them. We don't want to uh, go too heavy on them. We're giving them uh, another toss in that marinade. We want that marinade to really coat those wings and get into every nook and cranny. On goes the lid. Double checking my temperature on the oven. And I can't wait. I've set a timer for 40 minutes. Oi! Off she goes into the oven. 40 minutes later. 170 degrees, remember. They're basically cooked. They're beautiful. They're tender. They're oh, you can eat them straight away if you wish. But my next step will make them taste even better. Give them another stir. Get more of that marinade to coat those wings. Get that honey on there. Get that aniseed moving around. Get that soy moving around. 
this is oh yum and real easy to do okay so I've got my barbecue already heating up on low we don't well that's, that's my barbecue it's on low all we're going to do is give these a quick flash get a bit of color bit of caramelization bit of extra flavor so we're gonna put these on you're only gonna sit there for maybe five maybe eight minutes in total so we throw all these wings on try and organize them to get them all to fit in and what we want to do also with these we want to keep moving them around we want them to be evenly cooked evenly caramelized and the smell is amazing I've got a tray with some baking paper ready to take them back inside and there we go look at that caramelization that little bit of caramel color and, and the cats were out the neighbors were out oh they loved it anyway plating up beautiful simple super tasty try this at home super easy to make super quick if you like this video hit that like button it gives me confidence if you don't want to miss another one of my videos hit that notifications bell more importantly subscribe and I'll catch you next time